Welcome to On Q. I'm Michael Bartley. The holiday season, it's upon us. For most of us, that means less time for exercise and proper diet because we're running to all those parties to enjoy all that rich food. If you're like me, you promise yourself every year that it's going to be different this year. You're going to eat right, exercise regularly, and if not, you make a New Year's resolution to do the same, and that's not always honored either, believe me. If you want some good advice on how to enjoy healthier holidays, our guests tonight are ready to offer it. Our first guest is a well-known registered dietitian around these parts. Rita Singer is the founder of Red Dietitians of Wexford. She works with individuals and companies all around the region. She's working with folks here at Mercy Behavioral Health on the south side of Pittsburgh, one of her clients. Rita encourages and teaches proper nutrition and wellness to avoid diabetes, obesity, and other health problems. She says nutrition is not just a job, it's a way of life. Rita, welcome. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Thank you for having me. All right, me. we're going to have a lot of questions for you, believe me. What do you do? Well, it's a nutrition counseling company. Mm -hmm. I'm located in Wexford. And um, I really have a passion for helping people to make healthier lifestyle changes because it really is about just overall wellness, not dieting. Mm -hmm. So I work with individuals on a one-on -one basis. And then I also do a lot of work site wellness, which I really enjoy doing that, helping employees to be healthier. And um, I do a lot of cooking as well. I like to you know, develop recipes, mm -hmm. healthy recipes for the holidays for um, anybody just to, you know, try to be a little bit healthier. Stay healthier all year round. Absolutely. One of those work sites is right here at WQED. What do you yes, do? It is. Tell us the, 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 the sort of the, what happens in those sessions? Well, I, um, it's generally a six week class and I, you know, talk to a number of different employees. They can be anywhere from 15 to, I've done 50. Mm -hmm. And, um, or it can be even more, there's no limit really. But um, I sit down and we kind of just go, every week I come back and I talk about, you know, ways to be healthier, um, portion sizes, eating out, talk about how to get more fiber, whole foods. Mm -hmm. um, just, again, just really helping people to make healthier choices. Again, not necessarily dieting. Is no, no. Uh, okay. no, because okay. it is a lifestyle and that's what we want to focus on. A lifestyle. Yes, being healthier all year round, mm -hmm. but um, in general, you know, because when people start thinking about a diet, I think, you know, you think deprivation, uh, nobody wants you on a diet. Right. And it's nobody not wants any to fun. be on a diet. No, no, absolutely not. So I help people to make those healthy lifestyle changes. Again, small little steps it takes. Babies have to crawl before they walk. Right. We have to take those baby steps too. And in, life, sure. in, in life coaching, Michael and Rita, what we try to say it's small chunking. And we, we are born with one body. And if you aren't happy with the clothes that you're wearing, you can get new clothes. If you don't like your house, sell it and get a new one. Right. You're stuck in your body. So mm -hmm. take care of it so it can take care of you. I told yeah. you, you both of you were so popular. We have a call already. The phone's <laughs> ringing off the hook. All right. Bill from Indiana, PA. Healthier holidays. Bill, what's your question tonight? Hey, I have a question. I have uh, serious back problems. Mm -hmm. So I watch uh, my calorie intake because I've gained some weight, but I'm now losing it. Is it better to watch the calories or the fat calorie intake? That's a very good question. It is a good question. Either one, go ahead. So if I'm hearing it right, is it better he seems to be to less active because he has back problems is what I understand. Right, right. Yeah. So is it best to watch your total calories or your fat intake? Well, all in all, I mean, fats do contain the most calories out of mm -hmm. any nutrient. So it is important to watch your fat to more or less lower your calorie intake. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in general, just cutting back on your calories, but I'm sure exercise in some ways, you can probably do some things for your back. Even when we're talking about being healthy all year round. Mm -hmm. Okay, all year round is all year round, but the holidays are the holidays, and this is difficult. Okay, Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, most people would say, forget you. <laughs> I'm eating it all. Yes. It's one day a year. Now I know that's an attitude, but I would, I don't know, you may call me a liar, but I bet you most people live that way on Thursday. Don't you think so? Uh, possibly. Um, I think, you know, through the holidays, on average, people do gain three to seven pounds. And each year that can potentially keep going up and up. Three to seven pounds? Three to seven pounds. From Thanksgiving to New Year's? Mm -hmm. Yes. Really? Really, yes. And, and that's average? 
caloric intake for the Thanksgiving dinner is? 2,000 calories. Really? Yes. And that, and 2,000 calories would be enough for a whole day? For a whole day, for some people. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's people out there that should only be consuming 1,200 calories for the day. So, you know, in general... So 1,200 is probably the better threshold, the better measurement. Is that And sort of not necessarily. I would say, I mean, 2,000 calories um, could be a pretty good intake for a lot of people out there. But, I mean, your caloric intake does depend on your physical activity, your mm -hmm. height, your age, your weight, and what your personal health goals are, too. Mm -hmm. But 2,000 calories is a lot of calories at one sitting. And I think a lot of people during the holidays, and this is what I would not recommend either, is they try to save up all their calories for that one meal. When really, you know, if you're not eating until, say, like 5 o'clock, eat a well-balanced breakfast, a well-balanced lunch, enjoy mm -hmm. your, you know, turkey dinner, your Thanksgiving, and realize, too, it's about hanging out and being with people you love. It's not just about the food. And after the dinner, most people lie on the couch, watch football, watch a movie, and they're sedentary the rest of the night. And, and that's not a good idea either. No, get up and walk around. Get up and out of your chair. Get the whole family times. go for a walk, mm -hmm. maybe. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And another thing, everything should be done in portion. Would you agree with that? Yes. And six meals a day instead of three meals a day so they get mm -hmm. their calories and then at one particular time they're not going to overindulge. Right. And but not I, on Thanksgiving. You're worried well, about on Thanksgiving, <laughs> yes, you do. Even though, okay. you know, during, um, you know, the year. Portions mm -hmm. are important. They are important during the holidays too because there's a lot of foods if you're going to a party, oh, if you're oh, at oh, Thanksgiving. We're going to get to that. <laughs> if you're, you know, at Thanksgiving, there's a lot of options. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, if you're hosting, have maybe some healthier options. If you're a guest, bring a healthier option. You know, we have vegetables which are wonderful for you, but we tend to smother them mm -hmm. in cheese or cream sauces. You know, why don't you just enjoy them without them? Oh. Maybe have the other options too. Why are you too? trying to ruin my haul? No, I'm just I kidding. I don't want to ruin it. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> okay, we're going to get to the, those, those, those food choices just a moment. Uh, Jan from McCandless. Good evening, Jan. What's your question, please? Well, my question's about portion control. Okay. I know that uh, with trying to watch my weight, Wait, I've been trying to keep my eye on how big the portions are that I eat, but a lot of times I'm hungry. So I'm wondering if I can volumize with vegetables and fruits, and do I have to be as concerned about the sizes of those foods when I eat? Boy, that's a really good question because, you know, we talked about um, your reverse to dieting too. Mm -hmm. And one of the things with dieting and is that, you know, it's it's portions mm -hmm. and people are never satisfied so mm -hmm. then they go and get chips and dip at, at late at night right and you know to answer your question Jan great question I would say that fruits and vegetables you do want to eat more of these types of foods vegetables really um, you know I, I usually try to get half of my plate mm -hmm. as my vegetable serving with lunch and dinner with breakfast you can usually skip them you can eat them as well but the fruits are definitely they fill you up so the fiber in them help to make you feel fuller so that you don't necessarily have to eat some of the other so things as much. Then you feel satisfied. You do feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't realize is that it takes about 20 minutes for your stomach to tell your brain that you're full. So if you eat your, your main entree, give it 20 minutes. And then if you're still hungry, maybe have something else. But normally, we, we do get full within that 20 minutes. And also I would say the, the drink some couple glasses of water with that mm -hmm. as well. That will help you getting full as well. Yes. Mm -hmm.